Hello everybody, it's Kirsty. You know me, I solve crimes, do all sorts of different things using astrology. Now, this is not going to be a case in particular, but I'm going to talk about a few different things that I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks. The first one is I am going to look at the case, the Australian case of the disappearance of Peter Falconio. Him and Joanne Lees were British backpackers travelling through the Northern Territory, Alice to Barrow Creek. Here we have a map here of the search. Uh, Bradley John Murdoch was arrested and charged for that offence and other things have gone on. So thanks to Bianca and her partner who we had a fantastic chat about this the other evening. We're going to have a really deep look into this. I'm going to see whether it's po uh, with the help of Bianca and what we know about these areas. We're going to look at whether it's possible. We're going to look at the astrology and we're going to see if it tells us who killed Peter Falconio. Was it Bradley Murdoch? Was it somebody else? So that's one thing we're going to have a look at. The other thing we're going to talk about is what on earth is going on in the world at the moment. Now today is Friday. We, are see, we have seen for two weeks now the effects of what I believe are this. We, today we had a lunar eclipse. The moon is at 15 Sagittarius 34. Sun 15 Gemini 34. In opposition as always when we have an eclipse and then squaring Mars exactly at 15 degrees of Pisces in just the natural 12th house here so this is uh, conjunct Neptune as well this is telling me that it's ang um, the world's very angry we can see that it's representative of the chart but I want to go through what the rest of the year is showing us. Now, Neptune, I think, is partially responsible for some things at the moment as well. Don't believe everything you see. I know you know that, and most people do know that. But you, we have no clue what's really going on at present. Be prepared to be surprised. Be safe. Don't be silly. Don't go overboard. And most of all, think. Gemini and Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius, the third house, the ninth house. And Mars, it wants us to work hard at thinking about what's truly important to us, what's important to our emotions, our heart, our soul, and moving past what is going on in the world and What's really happening is is that the conjunction between Saturn, which is now at one degree of Aquarius and Pluto, it's still in effect and we're still seeing things. Now Saturn's going to go retrograde. It's going to go back close to Pluto again. Then it's going to go back out and go away. So things will change then. We're going to have a look at those things. Watch your words. Just be careful. Don't lose your family because you've got some ideals of what you thought you knew. We know nothing. Really, we know nothing. We're all learning. We're all in this together. And the repercussions of the authority figures that are doing this will come to them. Believe me, it will. You can't have this much Capricorn and have no repercussions when authority is causing the problem. So with the rioting, with the police, everyone try and chill a little bit. It'll be okay. We will be looking into the disappearance of 25-year-old Wyoming father Chance Engelbert. Who vanished a little while ago. There's chance there. That is for 
the members so the the members will actually receive uh, Chance Engelbert's chart before anybody else so that's just just note that then we will be looking into the astrology and the new suspect of Madeleine McCann the, there's beautiful Madeleine McCann Kristen Bruckner is the new sp suspect we're going to find out did he kill Madeline there he is right there so we're going to have a look into those two cases and I have a couple more cases that we're going to look into as well we will be looking into the death of George Floyd but in relation to history now there's nothing that I a lot of people have asked me to look into that now really there's nothing I can look into we know he was murdered by the police they have been since arrested there's nothing more that can be done there but what we can do is have a look at now and cycles in history and what that tells us when other people have gone through the same situation perhaps looking at the date when this same thing happened to Rodney King what we need to do basically is look at when the Pluto return is going to happen and see how the structure of the government the hierarchy of everything from the police through to the top level government which is what Capricorn represents which is this Capricorn thing that we're still very stuck in that is when we're going to see change and that's because 200 years ago or 280 something years ago or 275 years ago the Pluto returned but also in history people knew no different back then we conquered worlds people conquered each other's countries that's what they did we don't do that now so what can we learn from that we need to step out of the old ages any people that still have the same mentality of the, as that need to be taught otherwise and or if they can't be they're the bad people so this standing on eggshells and not knowing what to say is a very scary time because somebody well somebody like me who has never had a racist bone in their body um, I find it really very nerve-wracking and horrible that there's this tension in the air between people that I love um, it's bringing families apart it's separating people it's doing the opposite of what we want to do with this year we need to come together and the media is to blame for this too there's so much to blame for this but also the unexpected is what this year is all about we can't guarantee that we're going to know what's going to happen so we we just have to act more orderly the police will pay there will be justice it will go higher than the police it'll do what it has to do and it will be better but there's no point everybody losing their minds running out into the streets and looting or protesting or anything when we have a pandemic as well the pandemic hasn't gone away and I can assure you as an astrologer it has not gone away and by going and protesting and doing things like that we're just putting more people in, at je in jeopardy there's all sorts of things I'd like to discuss from how people are connecting the dots between George Floyd or the Black Lives Matter movement with Donald Trump and with other different things it seems like a lot of people just associate everything with everything these days there's not a lot of discernment and I'm hoping that this Gemini Sagittarius abstract mind versus logical mind will bring about a little bit more intelligence into the way that we approach these things to admit change and to have change happen in the world we need to foster change shouting about it fighting about it and screaming about it which is this T square to Mars getting angry 
is never going to be the solution. I understand it and it's the worst thing to ever happen to see this violence. It's disgraceful. It's not necessary. But the only way to fight it is with logic and with sense. So I think this eclipse, we're going to see some a period of six months or so after this where the eclipse stays in effect and I'm hoping it's going to bring about more intelligent conversation in regard to everything that's been going on this year. So I'm not, you know, don't please don't attack me for my opinions. Every life matters to me. I have never seen colour in my life and it scares me to think that because my skin's white people might think that I don't feel the way that I do and I don't like that feeling. That's an unsteady Capricorn feeling. This whole year has been such a fearful year. The last thing we need is to feel unsteady in our own skin. So I'm going to go through that in much more detail as well as those cases. So please watch out. Turn on your bell for your notifications. Subscribe if you haven't. And I can't wait to talk to you all about this soon. Take care. Really take care everyone. Bye.